Hi, I'm Russ from Weights and Biases, and today I'd like to show you W&B Weave. Weave allows developers to evaluate, monitor, and iterate on LLM-powered AI applications and to optimize performance across multiple dimensions, including quality, latency, cost, and safety. Rather than start at the very beginning of the AI application workflow, I'm going to do things in a slightly unconventional way and start near the end. Then I'll focus on each of the phases in the workflow that brought me here. This is not Weave. This is the orders page on the website for a fictional online retailer, WB Electronics. I'm logged in, looking at my previous purchases, and I'm ready to chat with a support representative about returning the laptop I just bought a few days ago. Of course, I'm not actually chatting with a human support representative, but with an AI agent responsible for handling support questions, and more specifically, handling returns. I'm going to start by typing in, I'd like to return the Chromebook I recently purchased. The, ag the agent sees the Chromebook and notifies me that it's within the standard 15-day return window and asks if I'd like to initiate the return process. Yes, please. And the return has been initiated. Okay, now you've seen our agent in action. And before we dive into how to use Weave, I'd like to briefly discuss why to use Weave. Adding Weave and the Weights and Biases platform to your AI development workflow means faster AI application iteration to help you build better performing applications more quickly, safer AI applications to meet compliance requirements and safeguard your users and your brand, and flexibility so you get to build your applications how you want and deploy your applications where you want. The AI workflow may look slightly different from workplace to workplace, but we've distilled it down to four phases. Experiment, iterate, deploy, and observe. This demo will highlight the role of Weave in each phase as we develop our retail support agent. This is where our journey begins, a Jupyter Notebook, a common place to start writing and testing some code. The first step in AI application development, basically a demo or prototype in its earliest stage. And it doesn't get more simple than this. Here I've got a function that makes an LLM API call, and at the bottom, I call that function with a question. What is a common store return policy for a laptop purchased less than 15 days ago? What I also want to point out here is that I've added the code required to track the inputs and outputs of this interaction using Weave. First, I call Weave init and pass in the name of the project where I want to track the inputs and outputs. Then I just stick this weave.op operator above the function I wrote. Easy as that. Now let's run this script and check things out in Weave. Here at the top, you can see the call we just made to the predict function in our Python script. When I click on predict, you can see the drawer slide over here from the right side with all of our trace information. Here on the left, we have our trace tree with the function itself and then the LLM call just below. And for both the predict call and the LLM call, we can see all of the inputs and outputs. We can also get a quick glimpse of the latency, total tokens, and cost of the call. The first thing you'll see when I click on the call is a record of the chat interaction with the LLM. We'll get back to this shortly. Next, we can see the granular details of all the inputs and outputs of the call itself, the underlying code of the call, and a summary of the call with more detailed information and attributes, including system information. So that gives you an idea of the level of information that's tracked from just a simple call. Now let's start building something a bit more substantial. We're going to jump back over to a Jupyter Notebook, only now we're looking at the building blocks of our agent instead of just a simple single function API call. In the simplest terms, an agent is an AI application that is able to operate with a degree of independence. An agent is able to make decisions and act on its own without human intervention. A retail support agent helps online retail customers with their support questions, but also has been empowered to determine whether a product return request falls within the rules of the store's return policy, and, if it does, initiate the return process for the customer. In order to feel comfortable allowing our agent to initiate returns, we need to provide it with plenty of context to make decisions. So, we've added this information using RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation. Retrieval, the system searches the provided knowledge base to find relevant information. Augmentation, 
Retrieved information is combined with the input query. In generation, our agent uses both the query and retrieved information to generate a response. In our example, we've included the store's return policy as a text file. Our store product catalog for recommendation purposes using embeddings in a vector database. And also, the customer's purchase history and all the text from the current conversation. Let's execute this script and head back over to Weave to assess our latest run. The difference between our previous trace and this new trace is easy to see. As I look at the RAG-related functions I called during the test run, you can see some of the information now available to the agent, including the return policy and the purchase history. Now that I have this weave trace for my agent to work with, let me show you another rapid iteration technique. Instead of editing my agent code and rerunning it again, I can quickly pivot over to the playground and experiment with my LLM prompts among various large language models. The playground gives me an opportunity to switch models and edit the prompt and rag content in place. And what's great is that all of these call traces are recorded in Weave as well. One of the critical features of our agent is the ability to determine whether or not a purchase is returnable. This judgment is passed by the agent and provided in the JSON output as the isReturnable value. I also ask the model for the reasoning behind this judgment and the reason value. Let's give GPT-40 a test in the playground and see whether the model, combined with our prompt, is doing a good job at making the returnable decision. First, let's run the current LLM call as is and set the number of trials to three so we can get a bigger result sample. Is returnable true? is returnable true, is returnable true. Now let's edit the RAG content and change the purchase year from 2025 to 2024 and rerun the same call and see what results we get. Is returnable false? Is returnable false? Is returnable false? This one by one testing is great for making tweaks and small changes to our prompt and model selection. But now, let's move from the experiment phase to the iterate phase and take a look at one of the most powerful features in Weave evaluations. Evaluations start with scores, the tests by which we measure the performance of our application. Scores can be either programmatic or based on human annotations. Weave provides a number of pre-built scores out of the box, but as another example of flexibility, also allows you to build your own scores or plug in other third-party scores. Many of the most frequently used scores are here on this slide, including hallucination detection and context relevancy for RAG applications. Scores play an important role in how Weave enables building safe AI applications, as they can be used to analyze inputs and outputs for harmful content and potential security breaches. Once you've selected the best scores for evaluation, you combine these scores with a data set of inputs to feed into your application. Provide the scores with the inputs and outputs, and you have the evaluation results. Optimization is the result of iteration, data collection, and comparison. We've spent some time looking at individual traces, but now let me show you how Weave evaluations can help you understand your application in the context of those dimensions we mentioned earlier. Quality, latency, cost, and safety. Looking at the evaluations page, you can see a list of all the evaluations that I've run and the results for each by score. A context precision score, a friendliness score, a hallucination score, a moderation score to evaluate toxicity. And of course, we're always interested in tokens, costs, and latency. I can also click on any single evaluation to see the aggregated input and output metrics and also the trace results from every call associated with the evaluation run. Weave excels in allowing you to compare two or more of any type of object, including traces, models, and evaluations. 
The comparisons drive optimization by making it easy to see which techniques are working and which are not. One way of visualizing a comparison of evaluation results is a leaderboard. Leaderboards are easy to create. Just select the evaluation runs and run the weave models to compare, and you get an easy to understand matrix with the color coded results. But the most powerful way to compare evaluations is to select two or more evaluations and then click the compare button. The Compare Evaluations interface provides a thorough comparison between selected evaluations. You can even set one evaluation as a baseline by which to compare all others and see whether they have performed better or worse across different metrics. Here we can see the results of four evaluation runs based on LLM selection for our application. Optimization strategies depend on how different factors or dimensions are prioritized. For example, we may be willing to sacrifice friendliness or even accuracy for decreased latency or costs. At the moment, I'm liking the results I'm seeing using the Gemini model, but there's always work to be done and room for improvement. And this is why Weave's ability to allow me to iterate quickly makes all the difference. And now we progress to the next phase in our workflow cycle, deployment. Moving an AI application into production is a multi-step complex process. Packaging up our agent using Weave provides an efficient, effective way to deploy the application into a production environment. Here we can see an example of our support agent in action. Rapid iteration and optimization have informed the best possible model selection, prompt content and settings, and rag content, and produced a friendly, reliable, and trust-building experience for the customer. As you can see, I'm not able to only inquire about whether my latest purchase is eligible for return, but also ask the agent to initiate the return process, an independent action not requiring any intervention from our support staff. After deploying a version of our support agent into production, Weave continues to track and provide traces for every single interaction. We can use the Weave API to gather human feedback to ensure that the application is performing to the highest standards and properly meeting the needs of customers. You can see the long traces here as we move back over to the traces page and weave. And here you can see the feedback that we've provided associated with this trace. We discussed the role of scores and evaluations, but scores also play a critical role as guardrails and monitors after your application has been deployed into production. While monitors are used for passive observation of application interactions, guardrails are used to detect harmful inputs, outputs, and attacks and actively intervene to prevent issues such as data leaks, toxicity, jailbreaking, or prompt injections by maintaining control over application inputs and outputs. Experiment, iterate, deploy, observe. We've now covered how Weave plays an instrumental role in each of the four phases of the AI workflow. As we continue to observe our AI application in production, we're always thinking about potential updates to improve the application and the end user experience. And as we refine, optimize, and add new features, It'll be easy to measure the impact and performance of these enhancements using Weave. Thanks so much for your time, and we invite you to sign up for Weave today. The first step in building and deploying your AI applications with confidence.